All right, what's up guys? How are we doing today? We're in episode 13 of Xenoverse. If you missed the last episode where we took on the third gym, go on and check it out. But I will say in between episodes, since I'm in this big old recording session I'm doing right now, um, I decided that I wanted to go ahead and make sure of a couple of things of information. So I checked out if reindeer could evolve and I've been wondering this for a little while and I've been getting concerned about it. And I was right, it can. And it does evolve into rain dingo so i did read that text right earlier in the snow town but it can't evolve to level 44 which is way later than i think that thing should like it is a squishy thing right now i was very surprised it evolved, waited so long to evolve um but i just have to remember at 44 if i still have it alive to make sure it learns frustration um but to I mean, this is our team recap. We got Sporkbird, uh, Reindeer, Bergmite, Haunter, Sandy Gas, and Vileplume. That's going to be all the recap we really need. And we are good to move on in the game now. Uh, I'm pretty sure we actually have to go back into the forest now. Because there was a way that was blocked earlier for us. I bet it's open now. I, I can see why this is so, like jarring for viewers because like i'm recording this all in like you know a two to three hour session but like you guys are waiting like days to see it all so i see why that's really jarring now because like i'm an avid viewer of like other uh content creators and they do this kind of stuff all the time but i can really see why it's so jarring for like um for like creators as well as like the viewers you know uh, I went the wrong way though. I know where I need to go. It's like to where those scientists are. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of confusing myself to be honest though. I'm just gonna throw up repel, man. Jeez. Actually, I wish I had Raiden whenever I fought the uh, fighting gym because they had like a bunch of bug fighting types. Uh, I see my repel. There we go. I'm also seeing that um, it'd be really good to have Oregon or maybe like Swirlix because I could have those evolutions happen like instantly. And their stats would be so much better so fast. And I assume here at some point I also get like the Porygon evolution. I'm a little bit curious if I get um, Haunter. You know, if there's a thing for him, or like if he just automatically evolves, or if you stop to do trainer stuff. Uh, we're doing research without Aster knowing, but I'll guarantee he'll be proud of us. Okay. Maybe I don't know where to go. Was there another way out of that town? Um, I might be lost. Yes, please use another. I don't really want encounters in this forest right now. Okay, I'm curious. Okay, now I'm good. Um, I don't think I saw another way out of this town. Unless, like, you know, I just, I'm blind. Maybe like something, there's a story event that's supposed to happen in this town and I didn't do it. Um, I'm very confused. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go, here we go. So I, I didn't even need going back in there. Whoopsie. Uh, experience inside, make sure you have everything you need before you go on your venture through. I pretty sure I'm fine. I bought a bunch of extra items I didn't really need. I imagine... Get a hair in my mouth. Oh! Um... I feel uncomfortable with this thing. I'm very glad I took it out quickly. That was... Kind of creeping me out a little bit. Mm, no, no. Nightshade's not that good. 
Oh yeah, Rosalia, you got this, bro. Acrobatics. I feel like, um... I don't know if anyone's gonna be like, upset with me about, like, looking up, um, if Reindeer actually evolves and how it evolves. Because... Because I have to, like, learn a certain move, being frustration, there was no way I was gonna teach it frustration. Because it's been with me since, like, level 16, and it likes me. And also... Um, it's not a physical attacker, so I don't know why I would teach it frustration. I just realized this is totally a new route. Huh. Uh, so this is cool. Did I run into anything beforehand and I ran from it? Oh, you started. Okay. I got a little concerned there. I don't... I think I ran into anything else. I'll definitely need to like check, but if I didn't, then this thing's very likely to be added to the team because like it looks really cool. And it looks like a type thing I don't have on the team right now. Okay, I'm gonna go for another great ball. Don't use too many balls like too early on, because like, you know. This thing's actually like hard to catch. And another plus side is I already know how this thing evolves. Because someone told me in the last town. Ooh, boy, this thing's got a whole, like, just setup move set. Very interesting. Uh, I'm gonna have to hit it with something. Um. God, I'm even worried about Echo Voice hitting this thing. I'm gonna have to keep throwing balls. Like, I'm fairly confident this thing's just like a rock type, but. I can't really hit it with acrobatics right now. I'm trying to hold on to my Ultra Ball, too. Oh, come on, bro. Excabold. Although, I am kind of realizing right now um I'm a, I'm a bird okay well this thing's at plus three actually defense maybe i just go for a regular spark like it's not it's not resisted but it's plus three defense yeah okay there we go do one more then i'll be able to catch you in the great fall I don't think this thing actually has an attacking move either, which um, is not the greatest for me if I want to try to use it. Dang, man, what is up with this thing? All right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to pull out the the good old uh, you know GBL if you know what I mean. I'm pretty sure this thing is not. A Xenomon too, pretty sure. I think it's just a regular, like, you know, different Mon, you know? Game Boy Luke. Game Boy Luke failed me. Come on. Alright. I'm gonna keep throwing balls. Like, I don't really have anything to lose right now. Game Boy Luke. Game Boy Luke, why? I'm trying. I'm gonna throw a Pokeball. Bet I catch it on this. Game Boy Luke. Game Boy Luke, why? Okay, it's not working for me. I'm gonna try, like, the next level thing. I don't need to say anything. Wait, let's be quiet for it. Okay, it didn't work. I'm just gonna have to go the, the hard way. I almost wanna throw a Xeno Ball, cause like, it feels like, but that doesn't make any sense, cause it's not, it's not a known Mon. I just want this thing, cause it's like, it's new, it's different. What is happening? 
I have never had a Pokemon break out on Triple Jiggle so many times in a row. It feels like there's like a force holding it backwards. I'm also, uh, I think 100% now, this thing does not have an attacking move. Okay, I thought it wasn't. But you were messing with me. That's how I'm actually going to miss out on this encounter right now. I mean, actually, you know, you know, you know, you know. I'm just going to go for another spark. It, it's maxed out defense. Thank you. In the red. Get in the ball, you Excabold, you Excalibold. Oh, Excalibold. Yeah, that's what it is. kind of hate you right now. I still want it though. But I still have to find a King's Rock to evolve it to. Thank you. Wow. That was way harder than I thought it was going to be. Alright. What's going on with you? What do you got? Ooh, you're a Rock Fairy. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Stone Trooper Pokemon. This rock pile came to life thanks to uh, the combative spirit of past paladins that inhabit the sword wedged within it. It's a sword? Sure. You know, uh, it also doesn't have a gender, which is interesting. Uh, because you're, you know, obviously inspired, we'll call you Arthur and send you over to the PC for now. I'll decide probably uh, in between recording sessions if I'm going to legitimately use you. But that also just killed like my entire ball supply. I don't want to go back though right now because like I don't even know if I'm going to need balls anytime soon. Okay, so this is obviously where I'm supposed to go. Let's go ahead and fight this guy. This gravity tunnel might be a two-parter for me. Okay. I think I can fight this thing, right? Uh, is flying flying resisted on electric? I think it is, right? Yep, but it does not matter. Not whenever you got the power of uh, power of acrobatics is what I was gonna say, but this blitzel just kind of stopped me in my tracks with its motor drive. All right, let's see if I can keep raiding out. Oh, I hit, yeah, sure can. Yep. Just fly around me, it's fine. Uh, this seems like there might be something else down here. I didn't have to walk all the way around, I also just realized. How am I gonna get a King's Rock? Like, I'm curious if I bring it to that guy in town, if he will give me one. Oh man, this is annoying. Patch the grass. I think that's one thing I have noticed in this game is I feel like the encounter rates in the grass are really high. Which I don't know if I like or don't like. Well, hello, rock that can be broken. Oh. Looks like he has a tomato berry on his face. That's a very interesting looking mon. I'm gonna run from it. Um. But I'm very intrigued in it. Is it Shukun Berry a good berry? Uh, oh, we can super effective ground, ground type moves. Do I have anything with that? Uh, nope, 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 nope. Unless a uh, Haunter gets gravitated. Watch step. I'm picking up all the missed Pokeballs. That's so smart. Why can I not do that? Interesting. You see, we've seen this mod like quite a bit. We also figured out what its typing was. Oh yeah, it's sound. Yeah. Sound is weak to electric. Oh, 
but unfortunately... Okay, I'm a little lower in health than what I really enjoy. Um, <clears throat> I was gonna say this. Unfortunately, though, steel resists electric, so... Wait, no, wait. Isn't that the other way around? Doesn't... Yeah, electric totally resists steel. Don't worry about that. I just punched my keyboard, it's fine. I'm just a very aggressive person, you know? I just punch stuff all the time. Punch my face, you know? Oh, that was your only mon. Okay, I don't... I keep, like, spacing out on whenever it shows how many mons someone's had. It's very helpful in, like, uh, later games nowadays, uh, where it shows you how many mons each of you have left. Very helpful. Uh, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Boop. Dang, I wasn't even going to make it through that grass. I really enjoy this thing. That's a very fun design. I'm curious... Oh, wait, was this the thing that has, like, different forms? Like, it can put different barriers on its face? That'd be fun. Alright, let's go get healed and see if I can evolve that boulder that I have. Maybe I'll check that in between episodes so you guys don't have to worry about that. But I think at the same time, you kind of want to know, too, you know? Maybe you don't, though. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and do it, though. Because I am curious. Oh, he's holding an item, too. Um, it's fine. I'll just take it off here in a second. What is it, like a pearl, maybe? Oh! So... He already has the King's Rock. He was holding it. Um... So I guess I don't really need one to give it to me. Um, I'm very curious what he evolves into. So we're okay. Here's what, here's what I'm gonna do. I still want Raiden because I think Raiden uh, also is going to evolve pretty soon. But I know that Berg might isn't, and it's not that important on the team right now. So I'm gonna keep uh, Arthur on the team for a second here while we get him raised up like a single level, so he'll evolve. At least according to what that guy told me, who I hope is a reliable hitchhiker, camper guy. I thought it was going to be dark in here. I was like, oh no, 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 no. Uh, hold on. Can I run back real quick? Okay, I've already got my t encounter technically for the gravity tunnel, so I don't get one in here. Don't be shy. Talk to Roper the Hiker. He's a good man who strives to escort back trainers who get lost. Oh, that's fun. Interesting enough, though, the encounter rate in here is actually very low. Oh, look, it's more of this boy. Alright, so I would have encountered him anyways. That's fine. I'm happy with him. Rock Fairy is like... Definitely not a bad typing. Um, your quad weak to steel. I think for the most part you only like add weaknesses to yourself, which is a, a little sucky, but that's how a lot of dual typings are, I feel like. You either get like a stupid good one or you get a uh, just kind of bad one. Oh look, it's the guy. Hi Drillbur. Okay, I got a pro play here. I see this guy here. I'm gonna go see if I can buy anything from him actually helpful. And then I'm going to do the Kecleon thing and steal from him. And if I use a raid in here, then... Um... Hey, look at that. Uh, we can steal attacks. That's actually nice. Uh, citrus berries are always good. I really should use citrus berries more often than what I do. Uh, I got five, I'll spy ten. Citrus berries are like just so good. Alright, I got this play though. Let's check out what I can get out of this chest, and also I can get more of this achievement that we get every time. And I also might get the experience enough to evolve. Ah, oh, darn it, you led your meowth. I wanted you to lead your, uh, your Kecleon. Alright, so your Meowth is a Psychic-type. 
So I bet I can use Fisher. Well, actually, sorry, if he's special, then that's actually really bad. Your dance confuses me. Uh, let's go Bulldoze. Oh, yep, you are special. And do I hit myself? I don't, thank you. Okay. Uh, I mean, it'd be fine if I knew that I outsped now, but I don't. So... Who has good special defense? Uh, you do. Is how much better? A lot better. Okay, so yeah, you'll, you'll be able to take enough to get a Giga Drain off. No, you can't, actually. I did 46. Okay, we're in a little bit of a pickle here. Uh, I think actually Raiden's the play here. Oh, please, Raiden. Please let you something dumb. Nope. Alright, then at the very least... Yep, cool. It didn't confuse me. That's the one thing, other thing I needed. Acrobatics, and you're gone. I should have better just staying with Raiden the whole time. Alright, so now I can use this play here against this Kecleon. Just go Acrobatics. Now it's a Flying type. And now we go Spark. Ah, oh, so close. Oh, we got Paralysis. Let's go. Let's go. Raiden for the win, bro. See, Raiden would be such a good mod if he didn't have like such low stats right now, just because of EVs and his nature. Like, he really got shafted pretty hard because he'd be such a good mod. Ooh, Arthur is trying to learn Seismic Toss. Yep, just as I thought, you did not have a single attacking move, so here's Seismic Toss for you, bud. And he did level up. Oh, not evolving. Okay. Maybe, maybe you have to use it on him? No, you can't use it though. I swore that guy said that on. Okay. Oh shoot, that's a trainer. I thought he was like one of those fishing guys. Oh my, that's a Gyarados. Um, what's my health look? Oh, okay, my health is not great. I got intimidated too. Um, let me let me just heal real quick here. Cause everyone's a little bit injured right now to be um you know just tossing anything around. How much is that doing to me? A lot. Um. You might have bite too, though. But like, I guess I'm defensive, so I'll take that. I don't imagine him just switching moves, though. So he should be using waterfall right now. Okay, cool. Now I have even higher defense in case he does have bite, and I'll just super potion again on Fisher. There we go. All right, we just mega drain now at this point. Oh, cool. I actually don't think he has, um... Fight. So he's just gonna... This is just free. You really gotta love abilities that just negate the entire typing. It's just so nice. I remember I... Yeah, it's actually him. No, yeah, he's the one I was thinking of. Like, uh, whenever I talked about earlier in the series, how he's like one of the only things that negates three different typings. What just happened? Is it like once you get maxed out, then you can't take in any more water? But that's a super interesting mechanic to it. Um, huh. I guess I never have gotten hit by that many water type moves. Okay, my Arthur is still not evolving, which I find very interesting. 
I'm gonna run back and heal because I very much need it, but then I'm also going to see if I can talk to that guy. Uh, let me just activate a repel, it's gonna be faster. And see if he can tell me why exactly, or maybe I'm doing something wrong. That's what I have to imagine. <sighs> Something what I would think. I also don't know if I want to change the layout to include Arthur on there, because like all I really want to do is show off a potential evolution for him. I'm sure it was this one. I wonder who put that in here. Yeah, maybe it's not this house, okay. It was one down here. I think it was one on this side. It's this guy? Yeah, okay. One Lee the Excable deserving to rest in the king's rock on his head shall evolve. Okay, then I must be missing something else. I, I'm just gonna look this up like right now because like that's exactly like like word for word what he says so like sorry i want to know how to spell the name of the thing all right excavold evolution naturally it's like a whole thing already because uh you know People are playing this game like no tomorrow. Oh, okay, I found it. You have to evolve it at night. I wish this guy said something about night. Obviously I'm playing this during the day right now. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks, but it's fine. I'll just throw uh, Snow Day back on the team now. And Arthur can hold on to his King's Rock, and I will probably evolve him in between episodes. Alright, back on it. <sighs> Man, we getting sleepy out here. It's fine though, it's fine though. Episodes coming closer to an end, and then I'll be pumped and ready for the next episode. Probably do a little bit of stretches, you know, make sure we're all good. Alright. I know I shouldn't be on the board right now, but like, the board's so much fun. Plus, you move so fast. Alright. Been walking for hours and I still haven't found the exit. Oof, you should go talk to that hiker guy. Not that sign recommended on the entrance. Alright, uh, ground types, good deal. You know, I feel like in hindsight, like, electric flying is a really good typing, because, like, it takes away electric's only weakness. But then it adds all the flying weaknesses, except for electric, you know? Oh, Fisher also learns hypnosis? Um, I think I am going to take it over hard, and I think having another mod with like a sleep move, just in case, could be really good. Uh, yeah, no, we're not going to find Onyx, though. It's all good. We got Fisher. Ooh. Big yawns. I can't ever tell if I'm overleveled or not. Like, if I didn't have the level I did whenever I went to fight that gym, I probably would have lost to that Drud again. Or, I mean, even like her team, if I didn't have like a Vile Plume. But then I fight these trainers like along the way, and they're just so low leveled. Sorry, we're getting close to the level that I'm looking at. 
I'm not gonna lie, for anyone who has watched this far, I'll go and give you a tidbit secret. I also looked up when Raiden evolved, because he does evolve one more time, and he evolves at 34, so I'm kind of aiming for that right now. Alright, this seems like a good time to end off the episode, so hope anyone do made as far enjoys that little tidbit of information, uh, and I appreciate you guys watching this far, and I'll see you guys on Tuesday tomorrow uh, for the next episode, so bye guys. Thank you.